everyone, it's Jaser. Today I'm going to be giving you three tips on how you can learn and master your scales fast. Let's get into it. Tip number one is to stop at the octaves. Now, how many times has it been where you, you think you've learned a scale, but when you're running it up and down, you realize you're making four or five mistakes? Well, the, um, the explanation to that is that um, you haven't quite actually got the flow of one octave yet. So what I recommend you do as you're running up your scales, stop at the octave marks and think before you move on to the next octave. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to use E major to illustrate my point. Now what you want to do, whether you're doing hands separately or together, okay, is stop at the octave marks. For example, stop here, think for a little bit before we move on. Okay, the next one is four in the left and two in the right. And stop again and to think and move on again. What you're doing when you are pausing at the octave marks is you are allowing and giving your brain time to just stop and think what is coming up next. As you do this more, you're going to realize that you are going to be more confident about what the next step is. And eventually you're going to be able to lessen the pause time and do this. Eventually we'll move on to seamless flow. Tip number two is to practice descending first, going down, and then ascending to go up. Now have you realized that um, with most of your scales, if not all of them, run better going up as opposed to going down? Well that's because we um, practice going up a lot more than down. Perhaps sometimes halfway through your practice, perhaps your mom calls you or you, you catch your dog barking at something uh, which, you know, grabs your attention and you go away from the piano, um, hence. Uh, the, the point is that we practice going up a lot more than we go down. So let's balance things out. Let's go down and then we go up after that, like this. Tip number three, and this is a bit of a funny one, uh, but I want you to try to play your scales blind. So close your eyes and play your scales. Now why is that? Um, well firstly because it's fun, uh, but secondly because through doing this you are going to really really feel each finger move up and down. You're going to be really aware of the how the fingers should feel as you go up and down. So very simply find your position. I'm going to play E major again. Start on E, I close my eyes and I go for it. to understand better what the scale feels like even without looking at them. So there you go. Those are three tips on how you can learn and master any scale as fast as possible. Scales are important. Scales are the foundations uh, for a lot of the technique and, and the songs that we play uh, today. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, uh, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.